Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is going to be another Sophisticated Saturday. If you've been here before, you know exactly what that means. Together we are going to work through my to-do list and tackle everything that I need to get done this weekend. This week is going to be a little bit special because I have some brand new cleaning to-do lists that I am going to work through so we can hopefully get a grip on my cleaning routine. So if you guys are ready for it, let's jump right into the video. So the clean home printables that I'm using today are from a company called Stache and Nary, which is super cute because the woman who owns it, her name is Anne. She's so kind. We met and connected on Instagram and she was nice enough to share these printables with me and actually a discount code for you. So make sure to check the description box below for that discount code and a link straight to her Etsy shop. You'll notice as I'm flipping through here, she has printables for every single room of your home. No matter what your living space looks like, she has things that cover a nursery, your living room, outdoor spaces, kitchen, bathroom, multiple bedrooms, really the works. So if you have a space that you think might not be covered, it's probably covered by these printables. So what I did is I just printed them from my computer and I'm actually gonna laminate them so I can reuse them over and over again with some whiteboard markers. Now with printables, you can easily keep reprinting them over and over again, or like me, you can laminate them and use them that way. I just picked the ones that were most applicable to me since I do live in an apartment. It's much smaller. There's a bedroom. We have two different office spaces. And then we do have a little bit of an outdoor space, bathroom, living area, as well as a kitchen. With each sheet, there's a spot for a daily routine, a weekly routine, then some sort of seasonal tasks that you might have to do. So I'm gonna go in in the spots that she left blank and I'm gonna fill in some of the things that I have as my personal routine and together we're gonna go through those weekly checklists. The first space I'm starting in today is the bathroom. I'm gonna get those towels in the wash. That's for sure a weekly task for me. I've shared that with you before. So I'm gonna grab those and stick those in the washing machine. I do quick tidies in my bathroom throughout the week. So the daily task section is great just to make sure you're staying on top of things. But the weekly things are gonna be, like I said, cleaning towels, going through and cleaning the tub and the shower, as well as the toilet, the floors, of course. I was really excited about these printables because I feel like I'm always cleaning and I'm always having this list of things I like to do on a weekly basis. But if you keep all of it in your head, it's really hard to keep track of. And sometimes life just gets in the way. And even though I like to wash my towels once a week on the weekends, something might come up where I don't wash it that week. And then it's hard to remember when's the last time I washed my towels because I didn't wash it over the weekend. So I decided to wash it on a Wednesday Then I'm off and I don't know how dirty they've been. So it's really helpful to write all of these things down and to put the date the last time you took care of that task. So you really make sure nothing's been neglected for too long. Let me know in the comments below if you have a certain cleaning routine that you actually write down, or if it's just kind of a cleaning routine that you do your bathrooms every Monday, your kitchen every Tuesday, or whatever it might be. I'm super curious what different cleaning routines everyone has and how you run your household, because I know so many people do it in so many different ways.
a butterfly who has only begun Taking me a while to get it Had to live and cry to appreciate life And what you give is worth it When you're holding me and when you hold me so close I want feather in under your skin Wanna leave a mark so that I can be sure That you remember what's been I used to be satisfied Now I'm just gonna mark off the bathroom checklist for the weekly section, and I'm marking off wiping off the countertops, the mirrors, the tub, and as I'm going through it, this is why you use these checklists. I totally realized that I forgot to take out the trash, so I'm gonna do that now and mark it off. On to the bedroom here, I'm multitasking a little bit. I'm doing some laundry by folding my clothing and then I'm gonna clean the rest of the bedroom, wipe off some of my dressers and nightstands as well as vacuuming the floors. All of these printables have a spot to water your plants, which I think is so great and awesome to have that reminder, but it made me think that I don't have any real plants in my entire apartment. I have a bunch of artificial and fake plants, but I don't have any real ones. And I am somebody who does not have a green thumb, but maybe with these printables, I would be able to keep something alive. Even the orchid plant that I have in my bedroom, that is fake as well, even though I know orchids are so easy to keep alive with a couple of ice cubes fairly infrequently, but I still managed to kill them. Is there anybody else who feels me with the not having a green thumb? Marking off the bedroom tasks, there's definitely still some things that I'm gonna need to do before this weekend is over, like washing my sheets and cleaning the windows. I washed my cleaning rags a little bit earlier, so I'm gonna fold them all up and put them away, as well as my dish towels back onto my dishwasher and my stove. To get a little lost in everybody's business, why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? I think I'm the wrong size, not enough room for everybody's egos. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? Cleaning the kitchen is something that's not just a weekly task for me, of course. It's a daily task. I'm always cleaning off the countertops, usually multiple times a day, doing the dishes. So I clean up throughout the day, but I also make sure I clean up every single night before I go to bed. If you're on Instagram and you've ever searched the hashtag clean kitchen at night, it's a thing, trust me. Lots of people love to go to bed to a clean kitchen and I'm definitely one of them. So when you wake up in the morning, everything's nice and tidy, of course, with a kitchen. If you don't clean it, there can be some smells coming out of your sink and things like that. So I always want to make sure it's clean. Always pretty smiles are covering her face You know it is all lies You know it is all lies 
I'm gonna give the microwave a clean as well. That's not something that's on my daily kitchen cleaning list. And it's funny because I'm so terrible about making sure I always cover the food that I put in the microwave. So if our microwave is ever dirty, it's totally my fault because my husband is perfect about it. He honestly always covers his food. And I don't know if I just forget or I'm convinced it's gonna be the one time where it's not gonna splatter, but it always does. So that's my job to clean because it's my doing. So long I've been trying to get you out of my head Oh yeah But somehow I always seem to wake up in your bed mm -mm. Baby, if we talk for a minute Then maybe we'd be getting somewhere oh. I'm a recent convert to using my vacuum on surfaces other than I'm a recent convert to using my vacuum on surfaces other than carpet. I would use it every now and then, but I'm still newer to a cordless vacuum. And I was stuck in my ways of a broom and dustpan, and I still like the clean of a broom and dustpan. I feel like there's nothing like it, just like there's nothing like a mop to me. But having the cordless vacuum makes it so easy to just pick up the crumbs and do a quick sweep throughout the entire apartment, no matter the surface. The kitchen is totally done, so I'm gonna mark everything off and then move into my office. The office doesn't need a ton of cleaning on a weekly basis. I try and make sure the surface of my desk is cleaned off every day after work. And I also want to make sure on a weekly basis that I am vacuuming everything. So there's also a to-do item for dusting the surfaces, which I'm not gonna do today, but going to keep that in the back of my mind for the rest of the weekend. think that we need a guiding light right now we're running around in circles but if you don't even want to try i need to know it the laundry is one of my favorite of these checklists you'll see that i washed my towels i washed my rags but there are some other things that i again need to get done this week so i will have those on my to-do list and know exactly what needs to get done Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you guys got a little bit of cleaning motivation. And if you're interested in revamping your cleaning routine, make sure to check the description box below. I will have a discount code for you guys to use the same cleaning checklist that I got as well from Stache and Ari. Very cute name. But if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you guys later.